Hello, Miguel from Grumo here, and I'm going to show you my latest Glide template to host and sell online courses made with Glide. That means it was made without coding, and this template is fully customizable. And once you make a copy, you'll be able to start uploading courses and lessons and also charge for access to all your courses. And it's very versatile. Students can review courses, you can add quizzes, you can track progress, you can upload files. Basically everything that you would need to host and sell online courses is available in this template. And of course, because it's fully customizable, you can edit the functionality the logic and very easily change the design of the entire template by simply going to settings and then you can change the color to any color that you want to. That's the great thing about Glide. Also like all Glide apps, it can be accessed from a mobile device or directly from a desktop and it works fine anywhere really. Now, let me just give you a walkthrough of how the template works. So we have a main tab called Courses. And if you're logged in as the administrator, uh, basically you can add new courses very easily. And you can see here we have three courses here. I can click in any course and I could also click on the three dots and edit the course details. I can click on the course to see the course details. And if I'm not enrolled, I could enroll. And I, you can see who the instructor is and how, how many courses the instructor is uh, teaching. And also we can see the list of lessons and how many lessons we've uh, completed. In this case, uh, we've completed three out of five lessons, but if I log in as a different paid user, we can see that this user has completed two lessons. And a very nice feature is that you click in any lessons, you'll be able to see the lesson description, the lesson video, which in this case is an embedded YouTube video. And is uh, in this case, it's a listed video, but if you wanna keep the content private, you could publish the YouTube video as unlisted so it's not available uh, for anybody else except for the people that are taking the course. Now you can see there are the previews and next buttons also. And a very nice feature that is very recent to uh, Glide, to Glide pages specifically, because Glide offers two different types of apps, mobile only and then pages, which actually work both as mobile and as uh, uh, desktop pages or web pages. Now, the feature I'm talking about is that here you can watch a video and the uh, Glide will keep track of how much of the video has been done. So if I wanna be able to mark this lesson as done, I would have to basically watch the entire video or skip till the end. And once I do that, you'll see that once we reach the very end of the video in a few seconds, pay attention to what's gonna happen. You see, Glide has detected that we've reached the end of the video and now it allows us to mark this lesson as done. And we could also add logic, for example, to only allow students to move forward to the next lesson once the video has been watched. And just to show you how easy you could do that, basically you select the component in this case block button and we can see here under the done uh, action that we're only going to show you when the video progress is greater or equal than one in other words when the video has been completed and we could add the same condition to the next button and that way we could also force students to watch videos before they can move to the next lesson Another nice feature is that if you uh, get to the end of the course, in this case, there's only five lessons, it would automatically ask you to submit a review, which is great to collect feedback from your courses. And once you uh, submit it, that gets added to 
well, to the course, right? Here you can see there's two reviews and we can always, always click on the user review and see more details about that specific user. Another nice feature that this template has is that you can, uh, for each lesson, you can add a quiz. And if I log in as the author of the course, then I can edit any lesson by clicking on the three dots here and then clicking edit. And you can change all the parameters. And also you can enable or disable uh, the quiz. Here we have a simple quiz with five possible answers. And then you just select the one that is correct. In this case, four plus four, eight. So the correct answer is B. And once we have that and you're taking the quiz, you can select the correct answer and you get instant feedback. Or if it's wrong, you get uh, instant feedback that is uh, wrong. All the data is stored inside Glide tables. You can see here. And uh, for lessons, we have the uh, video progress stored in this user specific column. So the progress is specific to the currently logged in user. So we can keep track of all the progresses for all the students. And uh, you'll notice that there is a green table. That means that it's an external table, in this case, a Google sheet where we're storing the sales. And I'm, let me just explain you how this works. Glide Pages doesn't have a uh, e-commerce integration per se. So the way to make it work is by adding a new source, right? In this case, we're adding a Google Sheet source, which we've already done. And it's a very simple table where we're going to be storing all the sales. And it only has uh, five columns, the timestamp, the email of the buyer, the plan ID, the amount paid, and if they enter a discount coupon code. Now, I mean, I mean in this case, I'm integrating Glide uh, with a tool called Pay Here. And Pay Here allows you to create payment links that look very nice on mobile devices, as you can see here. And then I'm using Zapier basically to trigger every time we detect a payment in Pay Here, uh, then we create a new spreadsheet row that registers the sale inside this sales spreadsheet. And because this spreadsheet is synchronized with our Glide app, then every time there's a new cell, it will reflect here. Uh, let me show you how this works in real time. So let's pretend I am logged in as a non-paid user, right? So let me just go back to uh, courses here. And I'm going to have to, well, I can watch a free lesson. Also, there's another feature. You can make a, a less, specific lessons free if you want to. But let's say that I want to see the second lesson. Well, then I will have to enroll and it asks me to upgrade. In this case, we have four different plans. And each plan is pointing to a specific pay here link. In this case, we have also four pay here links that you can see here. We have plan one, two, three, and four for inside pay here. And those links for each of these plans are stored under the plans table. And basically you would have to, if you're gonna use pay here, you will have to replace these URLs with your own uh, URLs because we're dynamically generating some URLs with the construct URL computed column inside Glide. And uh, basically when you make a copy of this template, you'll have access to all of this. You're just gonna have to change your uh, URLs, right? So in this case, my URL it says groomo-testplan- You're gonna have to keep this the same because you're gonna have to name your plans exactly the same way, plan, one, two, three, and four, or as many plans as you have to, because we use that number at the end of the plan to match it with the actual plan ID, right? Now, what's going to change for you is going to be this. Instead of Grumo test, that's going to be whatever the URL is generated for your pay here account. You will have to modify that 
for the URL link test and also for the production link. Uh, in this case, also because I, when you're testing, you're not gonna spend real money. There is a setting under the administration panel here that enables the sandbox testing environment. So when you are testing payments, uh, you should be using this. Uh, you should enable the sandbox environment, uh, which means you have to create a pay here account under sandbox.payhere.co, right? And once you've tested this, you will replicate the same thing under just app.payhere.co. That way you can test without spending money. That's, that's the important thing. And then you would connect this via Zapier, like I said, and trigger every time there is a new payment, you would add the new, the new row. And this is how you would register new payments. Now, so I was gonna give you an example of how this works. Let me log in as somebody that hasn't paid, right? Uh, go under courses. And now let's say I wanna pay for six months. And one thing that I've done also uh, is I've enabled coupons and their managed coupons. And there's only one coupon called 50 off, right? So I could do that. I'm just gonna do a test here and I'm gonna go 42, 42, 42. This is a fake credit card number that Stripe provides. And then any uh, expiry date and security code will be valid as long as expiry date is in the future. And then the coupon code 50 off uh, should work now. And because the zap is enabled, this should update our Google Sheet. So I'm gonna pay now. And now if I go to my Google Sheet, we will see how a new row is being added in a few seconds, you can see that. And that's great because now this user, uh, it's going to be able to access the course, right? And then if I go here, this user now doesn't have to pay and it can enroll. So if, if she tries to watch a lesson, she's going to be asked to enroll and now she can enroll and now she's enrolled and the enrollment has been registered and then the enrollment stable here. That's the new enrollment. That means that now uh, she can start taking lessons. As you can see here, um, I can access the lessons and can I also uh, start answering quiz questions. And in this case, the correct answer is four and you have instant feedback there. I can go to the next lesson as this new student. There's another quiz and the capital of Spain is Madrid. That's correct. And I would take the entire course. You can see I don't see the mark as done button because I would have to watch all the videos in order to be able to see that mark as done button. And then when I'm done, I could uh, give this course a review. Fan fantastic course and then this review would be uh, available under this course the new uh, review that I just entered so there you go this is uh, an overview of my new course learning management system template made with glide which you can get a copy at grumo.com slash course LMS thanks for watching